Hello, I'm Lisa from the We House Crochet and welcome to Knit Craft at the Water Garden. Uh, we are on round week seven, um, we're working on the border and we have already done week, uh, sorry, round two. And what we're gonna work on now is round three. So, round three um, says that we need to chain three. So one, two, and three. Now what it says is is that this counts as a half treble and a chain one. So we're going to skip the next stitch and we're going to work a half treble in the next stitch. So we're going to skip this one and work a half treble in the next stitch. There you go. And then it says to chain one and we are going to repeat this all the way around until we reach the outer corner. So skip the next stitch, treble in the next, chain one, skip the next stitch, treble in the next, chain one. So I've actually hit a corner already. So what I, it says to do next is in the outer corner is work one half treble, so one half treble, chain two, and another half treble in that corner. Okay, so you see it's starting to look like that. Um, now what it says is to continue working one half treble, chain one, skip one until you reach the inner corners. So um, I'm going to chain one, skip that stitch. Remember you're going to be, it's probably still, because your rounds are much bigger than mine as I'm working on a sample. So you just keep going until you hit either a corner or an inner. So you carry on with that stitch until you hit that corner or an inner. So you can see it's starting to look like that. Chain one, half a treble, chain one, and I'm now on another corner. So I'm going to do work a half treble, a chain two and a half treble. In my corner, I'm going to chain one. I'm going to skip that next stitch and then half treble, chain one, half treble, chain one, half skip again. Don't forget to skip those stitches, chain one, skip one, half treble, chain one, skip one, half treble, chain one. Skip one, half treble, chain one, and I'm back at another corner. So half treble, chain two in the corner space, and half treble, and then chain one. I'm going to skip that stitch, and tre half a treble in the next, chain one. It's quite quick around because you're um, skipping stitches. So, I am nearly at my inner corner. So um, I've hit the inner corner, hit my inner corner, and what it says is um, it says chain one, skip one until you reach the inner corner, and then work a half treble two together. Okay, but what you're doing is skipping that two that treble two together okay so it's just like we did before so I've chained one I'm going to work my half treble and then I'm skipping that one because you're doing a half treble two together so we don't actually yarn over so when we do the half I should explain really when we do the half treble two together we yarn over insert the hook into the stitch pull up a loop we skip that treble two together and we yarn over insert the hook into the treble on the other hexagon pull up the loop yarn over and just pull through all the loops on your hook and that is a half treble two together chain one skip a stitch half treble so you're just gonna go around like that 
So you keep on going using that pattern until you hit an outer corner. In the outer corner, it's half a treble, chain two, half treble. In the inner corner, you are literally doing a half treble, two together, skipping that um, treble two together made on the previous round. And that is it. That's all you're doing all the way around. And what you will see is it just starts to give you just a little bit of a different border. And that's it um, for round three. It's exactly the same as before. Once you hit the outer corner and the inner corner, it's just a little bit different. So you just keep on with that pattern as you're going around. So I'm going to finish this off um, and I will see you at round four.